Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you more about uh, the footprinting tools and gathering information via search engines, uh, Netcraft, Leaky Extractor, and uh, loads of other things. So, to start, what a hacker would do would be to find the company's external and internal URLs. A company's external and internal URLs provide a lot of useful information to the attacker. And these URLs describe the company and provide details such as company mission and vision, history, products and services offered. So if you want to find the external URL of a company, you need to follow some specific steps. Open any search engine such as Google or Bing, type the name of the target of company in the search box and press enter. The internal URL is used for accessing the company's vault server directly inside the corporate network and this internal URL helps you to access the internal functions of a company. Most companies use common formats for internal URLs and therefore if you know the external URL of a company, you can easily predict the internal URL through trial and error method. So these internal URLs provide insight into different departments and business units in an organization. You can also find internal URLs of your organization using Netcraft tool and I'll show you where you can go ahead and download that. So I'll just go ahead and open this and in order for you to go ahead and down, uh, start Netcraft, we can just type net craft it has its own specific website and yes we have over here let's start it so netcraft deals with web server uh, web hosting let's say share market analysis operating system detection it writes a free anti-phishing toolbar for firefox as well as internet explorer browsers the Netcraft tool avoids phishing attacks and protects the internet users from fraudsters and it checks the risk rate as well as the hosting location of websites we visit. So as you can see over here we have different things as to we can do data mining and like uh, similar to Bitcoin and then we can check the performance and we have lots of other things over here. So if you want you can go ahead and just do some random stuff over here and you can also check uh, the applications test testing let's go ahead and check that if you have any vulnerability in any random pages so as you can see that we have uh, you can but you need to go ahead and uh, download and you need to go ahead and buy these from them that is what a normally company does uh, but uh, attackers as you know that attackers normally don't use these things they normally go and download it from somewhere else or uh, they start phishing and as you can see that we have loads of things over here which you can gather information about uh, anti phishing links and gathering information about uh, these things so uh, these are things that you can go ahead and download let's say for example if someone has created a phishing website for Facebook or something else then you have uh, these phishing extensions that you can go and download for Firefox as well as Chrome over here and then they these guys won't be able to visit that specific link because it would have been banned by the administrator already so these are things uh, with uh, go uh, which netcraft actually checks after that we have uh, let's check we have the link extractor so let's go ahead and check uh, the link extractor it would be http www dot webmaster i'll just go and type link extractor and we should be having a webmaster web page over here and uh, link extractor uh, is uh, okay here we have it so link extractor is a link extraction utility that allows you to choose between external and internal urls and it will return a plain text of urls linked to an html list you can use this utility to competitor sites let's say for example just to check i'll just go ahead and check over here support dot micro soft let's go ahead and yeah i know the spelling is wrong so i'll just open this and i'll just copy paste it over here and then we'll go ahead and check what are the errors that we get okay i'll just copy it from over here okay so let's go ahead and check what we get as you can see over here that okay give me some time and data okay let's check extract links okay we don't have any extracted links because okay 
let's check let's check if we have HREs I don't think we have any Atari FS links so let's check if we have it for SRCs I'll close this okay so far as you can see that we don't actually have any uh, specific uh, extraction for that as you can see because that website is already secure so these are just examples and after that that you can go ahead and get extractions for different websites you don't need any specific thing for that you can go ahead and get information about inter external and internal about any specific website that you want so that's just an option after that we have what we have over here would be Google Earth, Maps, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Plus and email tracking tools. So I'll go ahead and give you a deep detail about how Google Earth and Maps can be useful and you may have no idea that it's used to gather information or you can even look into a specific organization to get the location of a specific place. Information such as physical location of the organization plays a vital role in the hacking process. This information can be obtained using the footprinting technique and in addition to the physical location we can also collect information such as surrounding public Wi-Fi spots, hotspots that may prove to be a way to break into the organization's network. So attack us with the knowledge of targets organization location, we attempt a dumpster diving or surveillance, social engineering and other non-technical attacks to gather much more information about the target organization. Once the location of the target is known, detailed satellite images of the location can be obtained uh, using various sources on the internet and many more. Attackers can also use this information to gain unauthorized access to buildings, wired and wireless network systems and so on. So Google Earth is a valuable tool for hacking that allows you to find a location or point and zoom into that location to explore. You can even access 3D images that depict most of the earth in high resolution detail. So I'll just go ahead and show you some specific things that you can go ahead and check into Google Maps provide that providing a street view feature that provides you a series of images of buildings as well as its surroundings including Wi-Fi networks, attackers and attackers may use Google Maps to find or locate entrances to buildings, security cameras, gates, uh, places to hide, weak spots in perimeter fences, uh, utility resources like electricity connections to measured, uh, measured uh, the distance between objects and many more. So I'll just go ahead and show you some example as to how we can go ahead and gather information about that. So I'll just open, go ahead and open Google and I'll just check let's say uh, let's check that uh, we want to get, go ahead and gather information about cameras so let's check how google map can be useful to go ahead and give us information let's say cameras uh, let's say me, um, let me get the specific term traffic cameras in Mumbai so we have over here you can see we have different cameras and I'll just go ahead and check into maps. And if I go ahead and zoom into here, I don't know exactly where uh, the cameras are. But if I go ahead and zoom into over here e exact places, I can go ahead and get an extreme amount of information. Uh, let's check if we could go ahead and get any random camera let's say let's go ahead and check over here at the flyovers and I'll show you how we can go ahead and gather information and if a hacker is good enough uh, if you could have already let's say if you already has any specific range of IP addresses then he can even narrow down and get access to that camera as well so let's check uh, and I think this is the deepest I can go I won't be able to zoom any further and let's get the satellite view let's see if I'm get okay perfect so over here I'm getting the exact uh, detailed information about uh, where cars are where they are not so just let it start perfectly Okay, so I don't think there are any specific 
cameras over here. I'll go back to my normal mode. Okay. So, but you can see that, uh, let's say we have these corporate buildings over here. So, if you go and check Google Earth and cameras, if I go and get, uh, let's say, 3D view of that, let's see if I could go and get some 3D view. Where it is exactly. Okay, let's take this, uh, uh, Julius, for example. We have this. So, if we want uh, uh, any detailed information, as you can see, I can have this information handed to me without anything I can see how it looks like from the inside and I won't even have to actually manually go over there so I'll just go down and enlarge this a bit okay so as you can see that we can gather much information just by looking at the Google Maps or the Google Earth which is quite useful to us so this is just an example perfect so as you can see over here, I have all the information that I need and uh, I can even go ahead and check uh, the cameras. Okay, I think probably we should have some cameras over here. And is this the 3D view? Okay. I don't know, but I believe that last time I went, I went into a specific well, I'm able to zoom it in much further, but uh, sometimes you are able to zoom in much further and you can go ahead and gather much better information about this. So this is just an example of gathering information via, uh, let's say, uh, Google Maps. So after that, we have Google Earth and other stuff. I'll just... We have Facebook, as I told you, how we can go ahead and gather information via that. We have email tracking tools and uh, LinkedIn, Google Plus and then we finally have the Google Hacking Database which is far and far much useful than anything else. So I'll just go ahead and show you a quick example for that as to how we can go ahead and access different databases uh, using Google. So but that would be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial I'll be starting you with Google Hacking Database.